Hello everybody, and welcome to Movie Master, where we rank, review, trailer act, and talk about movies and TV shows. Okay, now, as you've seen by the title of this video, I'm going to rank, I'm going to give you my top 10 favorite suits from Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now, if you guys, if you guys want to know my top 10 for suits from Spider-Man PS4, you can check that video out on my channel. Just go down, just exit this video, go down to the banner that has a picture of a green ninja from Lego Ninjago. Click on that little picture, then scroll down to the video and you'll find it right there. Now, right before we get into this, I'll do some updates for the channel. Number one, I won't be uploading so regularly. I had a bunch of ideas for this, like, top five suits. Like, here's some of the ideas I was going to do for suits. Like, a top five Spider-Man Miles Morales one. A, another set of top fives. A bunch of different stuff. But I thought this might be too much of an overhaul for me as a person. So, yeah, you won't be seeing me upload too regularly. Regularly. You won't see me have, I'll have a different upload schedule. I won't, I'll upload on a day when I feel like I have a subject, uh, when I think of a subject that I want to put on YouTube, that I th think of a subject I want to talk about, or I want to put on YouTube, I'll put it on YouTube. Because even though I'm Movie Master, I am not only centered on movie-related subjects. Plus school, I'm trying to cope with all my issues at school. So school issues and a lot of this is leading me to want to take, take a break. But not yet, just before I release a few videos. And then yeah, you'll see this more go more to del delve more, delve more into detail on my Maximum X channel. Yeah. So yeah, you'll see a lot more of that delved into there. So yeah, expect that. But nonetheless, let's get on with it and go to the rankings. And number 10, we have the programmable matter suit. This suit you unlock when you complete, when you get all the underground caches that are hidden. These underground caches are little containers that have items, tech parts from the underground team. Now they're hidden throughout the city. They're hidden around the city. And you have to use your radar and look for them. And they'll have a little number thingy that tells you how close you're getting if you're getting far away. So yeah. The number two version is that were in bases like the Roxxon ba bases that were take that were seized by Roxxon. Rockstar Laboratories, although in underground bases that are an old Fisk construction site. Especially the base ones are very hard to find. But after that, the it, it's cool unlocking this suit because it can make so many things. It can unlock Robo kind of iron spider arms and it has so many cool abilities and it looks really cool in my opinion with the glowing red and all that. And it's like an opposite to, to the Tinkerer's programmable matter suit. Plus like the ultimate version of it, it can make anything including the whole suit. So yeah. And number 9 is the 2099 suit. This suit's a very stylish looking suit. It has a hoodie and a nice cool symbol. Mars Morales has never had a 2099 suit because Mars Morales has likely has, has long been passed away since the events of 2099. But they gave him custom suits anyway. A reason a lot of these suits are not based off films is because he's not had that many film appearances. He's only had a few appearances in movies. He's only got a name drop mentioned in the Spider-Man Homecoming and only and he made a full-on appearance as the main character and it's the Spider-Verse. 2018 was the year for Miles and so is 2020. 20, so not only here's what's happened so far. Like Peter, Miles has gone from the comics, from being in the main Ultimate Comics, going into the main Marvel Universal Comics, going into TV shows like Ultimate Spider-Man and Marvel's Spider-Man, Maximum Venom. Then going into the movies with getting his own movie and Spider Man into the Spider Verse, and then getting his video his own video game. So this has gone very far for Miles, and I cannot wait to see what's gonna come more in the sequel. And yes, I am gonna do what every other YouTuber has done with their being a fan, being a big fanboy of Spider Man. I am gonna make a top ten list of what I want for the sequel, and I'm very glad I made it this time because well, with Miles Morales now finished, a lot of the ideas I want to put him will be put him. But let's, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about 2099. This suit is much more better and much more very sleek. I like the light neon highlights on the suit with the symbol and the lights all around it and the hoodie. The hoodie makes it very, very Mars-esque because Mars likes to wear hoodies a lot. And this makes a very Mars-esque kind of suit. And it really differentiates his line of suits from Peter's line of suits. Even though the 2099 suits and 2099 black and white suits are technically not worn by Peter Parker, they're worn by Miguel O'Hara of the year 2099, they're still Spider-Man. Even though they may be different people under the mask, they're all Spider-Man. Even if it's a woman, doesn't matter, they're all Spider-Man. 
But anywho, the suit's still cool nonetheless, and it has some cool visor mods for you to get. And nonetheless, it is still a pretty awesome suit, and I think I would want to wear it, just not all the time. But it's a cool suit for you to use in photo mode. Now, here's a cool suit that actually got revealed prior to the game's release, the Crimson Cowl. The Crimson Cowl suit is a very unique suit where the hoodie is actually part of the suit. It's engraved into the suit. It takes a big leap and makes the suit orange and black, making a unique tone for a Spider-Man suit. Because they've normally been red and blue, black and red, mostly very, very basic colors. Black and white, black and red. You basically kind of get the sh trying to get the just here. It's just been very, very plain colors. It's mixed up and made a very intricate design with the same kind of colors, but overall, it's pretty much been the same kind of colors. So yeah. But nonetheless, the Crimson Cow suit is a very unique suit, and I think it's a really awesome suit. It does have some um, visor and suit mods. I do not know what they are. But nonetheless, they're still cool. Still great suits, and nonetheless, I still find them a great suit. Next after that, you have number seven, the Advanced Suit. The Advanced Suit is actually, sorry, 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 due to some script issues I had, it's actually the Uptown Pride suit. Number seven is the Uptown Pride suit. This suit is a very cool suit to unlock after completing all the friendly neighborhood missions. So I just like, I'm, I'm not going to stop calling it. It's a little blooper here. As you can see, um, it says the end suit, but I put Uptown. I thought it said advanced, which means I thought it was advanced, but then it said Uptown Pride. So it's Uptown Pride suit. Sorry, my apologies. So yeah. But anywho, continuing on with that, the Uptown Pride suit is still a cool suit, even if it's just basically Miles' suit, but with a bit of a touch of gold in it. But it's still a fantastically cool suit to use, and I find it an awesome suit and a great reward. And I also like how you unlock it, it has a poster of Black Lives Matter, truly showing that they do, do put Black Lives Matter in a good perspective. Because some good things came out of that. But also bad things like Hartley Swire getting fired and many other actors getting fired from their roles for these reasons. Some of them were justifiable, some of them like Hartley Swire were not unjustifiable. But anywho, at number 6 is the Advanced Suit. This suit is the most recent suit in the game, which is why it's now bumped up to 20 suits. And I think this is the nerf of suits you can get. The Advanced Suit is an adaption of the Mars Morales Classic Suit. And the kind of merging it with a hybrid of the advanced suit from the original game. Kind of giving Miles his own kind of advanced suit. Which is really cool. Because a lot of fans asked for it in summer times. People thought it was either the track, Crimson Cow. All kinds of suits were, were considered as, um, as the advanced suit. But Insomniac released their official version. I find this not the permanent suit Mars is going to wear in the future. I find this as a cool little kind of idea of what if he had a kind of suit similar to Peter's. Because the reason I think Miles should stick with this classic is it remnant. I think it makes it perfect for the character, considering this is his first game outing. When Spider Man had his first video game outing, um, he was red and blue. When he came, when he when he came, when the two thousands when it blew into the two thousands, and he had to and he picked, kicked off the decade with his new game, he wore flat, he wore red and blue. When he had to, when he had to try and deal nine eleven, he wore red and blue. When you see him in the movies, he wore red and blue. Although it did diverge into some black and white and some kind of black and red and some iron, certain Iron Man-esque kind of suits. He still always kept that black and the red and blue design. And I think the reason I like Spider-Man PS4 changing is to the advanced suit is to differentiate their Spider-Man. Their Spider-Man is a different Spider-Man. It shows him growing up. Miles Morales can keep his classic suit because he's still a younger Spider-Man. Will he ever change his suit? I don't want that. Will he ever update it to make it more streamlined and insulated? Yes. Him having the suit in the first game, I've, I'm not wanting to replace it in the third game or fourth game or whatever future game comes with him in it. Because this is his story. Um, even when he gets older into his more mid, early to mid 20s or even his 30s, then I think around his 30s he can upgrade the suit. But his Mars Morales suit is a progression of his character. It shows that in the suit area and in his head, He's ready. He's ready to be hero, and I think that is a great way they presented it, and the storyline of it. So, yeah. Number 5 is the 2020 suit. You unlock the suit by completing all the challenges, and it's a really cool looking suit. It really captures the ideals, some of the aspects that 2020, some of the aesthetic that 2020 had of that year for Spider-Man. And it showed that Spider-Man had to look really cool with the S symbol on the side, a cool Spider's logo on the back, a jacket, a cool looking digital helmet. 
all that. It's a really cool looking suit, and I really like how when in one of the scenes, Tinker has knocked him down and is about to kill him, he lifts the helmet up like a helmet, not pulls it off like a mask. Because it's a helmet, not a mask. But the suit is nonetheless cool. I have worn it from time to time, and I find it a really awesome suit. It does have some suit mods, I think, but nonetheless, even if it doesn't, it's still a great suit. Number four, this is like similar to the vintage comic book one, the animated suit. This is the adaption of the um, more or less kind of animated-esque kind of style, <sighs> similar to the vintage comic book, but instead they made it animated, which I really think was a cool idea, and it made it look very cool. And like the comic book, vintage comic book, it made it pop in its world of, of Spider-Man, especially since it was winter, making it winter much more pops in the game. Because the first game was very basic, and making it like very animated pops in a very winter-esque kind of style. And I think like Batman, Spider-Man suits winter. <laughs> so yeah. And number three is the Spider-Verse suit. Spider-Verse is a movie I just recently did in my Spider-Man marathon. I'm actually on Venom now, but I need a DVD of it. So I'll be buying a DVD of that movie to watch it, and then buying Spider-Man Far From Home and Venom both on DVD to watch. And then after that... To watch and then after that complete my marathon and get ready for No Way Home. And also rewatching him later on in the year again. Rewatching him random times and rewatching him near the end of the year for my marathon of Spider Man. So yeah. But anywho, the suit is awesome and I find it a cool way that they take the red and blue suit, Peter Parker suit, now they now that he's sadly gone and passed away. He spray paints it black, spray paints some red on it, and then makes it his own suit. And then changes his, changes up the mask a bit, put on some web shooters. It makes him look like a really cool version of himself. And I think it was a really great way they did that. And it was awesome, and I really loved it. Number two is the classic suit. The suit you get in the, in the game when he finally reaches his point that he's ready to be re he's ready and he's ready to become Spider-Man. The suit design is really awesome. It captures the um aesthetic and look of the one from the comics and the and kind of some areas of the animated into the Spider-Verse movie. And overall has a cool aesthetic look. And Insomniac adds their little ads and touch ons which I really think is cool. And they add them because it's boots. But they're not really boots. They're shoes, which is a cool thing. They're shoes without laces. They're black and red shoes without laces. Making a very accurate form that makes something like that. Where the rest of it, he would have gone to from Peter Parker. Barring it from Peter Parker's suit. The basic foundation of the suit would have been Peter Parker's old suit. And then he would have built it up from the ground up from there. And the mask, his mask would have been an updated version of the um, mask that was given to him. So yeah. The suit is cool nonetheless. And my favorite one, this is my favorite one, I really think it's really cool. The purple rain suit. Now this is a suit I do not want to spoil. So spoilers if you've not seen the game or played it. The purple rain suit. This suit you unlock after you complete all the sound samples from Uncle Aaron. And this is the suit that I've seen online that has been spoiled. And said, do not spoil. Like, it's been told to not be spoiled. Not be spoiled. So, yeah. And it's a really cool suit. It's got the purple aesthetic. At the, it's like a Prowler kind of suit. But with a Spider-Man Miles Morales aesthetic kind of design. A neon look. Which I really think Miles Morales is hitting it off with. A neon-esque kind of si style with it. And I really thought that was cool. Nonetheless, I still found the suit amazing, and the suit mods were brilliant. The suit is amazing, it flows well, and with any suit mod, it looks brilliantly well done. But yes, nonetheless, that is my ranking of my top 10 suits from Spider-Man Mars Morales. I hope you've enjoyed these sets of videos. The next two videos will be the last two videos centering on Marvel Spider-Man for now. So yes, yeah, so far you guys got a top 5, top 10 favorite suit Suit power, suit powers from Spider-Man PS4. Sorry, I mean, you guys got your top ten favorite suit power. Actually, no, I gave you my top ten favorite suit powers from Spider-Man PS4. Then oh, my top ten favorite Spider-Man suits from Spider-Man PS4, and now you got my favorite suits from Mars Morales. Next, expect a ranking of all twenty suits from Mars Morales from worst to best, and then you expect a one from Spider-Man PS4 to end off this series of videos. So yeah, make sure you like and subscribe and um
Make sure you click the notification bell down there so you don't miss any of this Movie Master content. And make sure you enjoy yourselves out there. And make sure that even though COVID has now been lowered down, like I said in some of my other videos that I probably cut or probably didn't even get to upload, stay safe, people. Just even especially those in other countries besides New Zealand. Even heck, here in New Zealand, stay safe. Okay? Like, subscribe. I'll see you later.